Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Welcome to episode 20 of the Iron Forza Diamond series. Today we're going to be playing Tom Kench with Hellblades in the top lane as voted by you guys. Unfortunately, we're not up against a melee matchup because I have no choice in the matter. We're up against Karma top. I, it might even be tank Karma, so this could be a disaster for me actually. We're going to be going for Spirit Visage and Merc Treads against this team. They have Morgana that has a bind, Jin has a snare, Galio has a billion crowd control effects, and also Karma has a root. Merc Treads game, 100%. After that, we just get armor from then on. Alright, looks like we might be going for... Okay. That hat is ridiculous now. <laughs> Who let you wear it? Wait, we might actually get him. Oh, one thing I want to note for you guys is I have a magic resist rune and that is because we're either facing Galio or Karma So definitely go for a magic resist rune change it up if you know for sure that you're up against a certain matchup If it's very ambiguous, then you can just go for the one that is the tougher matchup Say for example if you're up against a Jace and you really need that armor against Jace But there's also an ambiguous pick that is AP in the top lane I can't think of right now then you go for armor Ouch. Hmm, Karma top. It's gonna be kind of annoying. Especially because she's running Comet, so she'll do a lot more damage than the Klepto variant. But I think Karma has a lot of inherent weaknesses too, so... Like, her pushing power isn't that great, right? Or was it her CSing? I think her autos wasn't very friendly. That's what I remember when I was playing Karma a few episodes ago. Luckily we have Doran's shield, so we'll heal up basically all of her poke. And once she gets us low enough, we'll have potion. And then if that happens again, then we'll be able to just teleport back to lane. Also, Tom Cage is really easy to CS with because he has on-hit damage. See that 9? And also we have Doran's shield for another extra 5 damage on top of what we already have on minions. Oh, ouch. Yeah, Tom Kench is really nice for CSing. Definitely. See, someone's telling me to go in right now when they're like a billion miles away. That's when you don't go in. You always check the map. Don't get baited by your team. Okay, now we can go in. Pop a potion here. I actually do not have flash for this. Damn, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I wanted to swallow her because I thought she was going to run away. But she did have flash, so if I didn't swallow her instantly, she would have flashed away and I'll never have gotten my W off. Oh, I don't have anything to... I don't have the W to save her, my bad. I was trying to use W to poke her, but then she hide behind minions quite well. Luckily it was an execute, so... We'll just think of it as a very fast recall. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Could I play that differently? I didn't have any mana. We're going to get Titanic Hydra because that's an auto reset. 
I think that's pretty powerful. Okay, we can actually ult mid. This is looking like a mid ult. Oh, damn. That Vi came at the perfect time. Hey, Q? Okay, he didn't need a flash. We got two assists. I think that's really worth. And Karma pushes kind of slow. So I'd say that's really super worth actually for us. That's insanely good. I might have died twice, but you know, I'm actually putting a lot of pressure on the map. I need to get R off of Smart Cast though. That's pretty awkward. Because I was pressing the ground, and I think it was like casting it instantly. I didn't get to fine tune it. Also, I noticed when I have someone in my belly, I can't flash. So that's what was really awkward. I thought I could just swallow and flash out. Also, for those that don't know, you can use your Q and W to swallow a minion from really far away and it'll cost the mana of your Q. But they'll only do the damage of just your W. So it will do like damage of both, if that makes sense. Ooh, that damage. He's gonna queue. Oh my god, this is disgusting. We did so much damage to her. I don't think there's anything Karma could have done there. The moment I landed Tongue Lash, she was dead already. It's actually really disgusting. But Tom Kench has always been very disgusting. He's just a, a insane lane bully, like overpacked on stats. Very easy to play, very disgusting, but not very useful mid to late game. That's what I've noticed. He's just a pure lane bully. Okay. I made sure to utilize my stun with my passive. Anyways, let's get out of here. Tom Kench is just broken, like way too overpacked in stats. Okay, so after Spirit Visage, I'm just going to go straight Righteous, and then the rest is just Armor and Titanic Hydra. Just more Armor, Titanic Hydra, Warmox. That's what we're going to get. I don't know if Warmox is a good idea, just because by the time we need to heal with Warmox, we probably need to go back to base for mana anyway, and even if I'm full health and no mana, I probably still need to go back to base. That's what I'm thinking anyway. She'll use a Q again. Okay, just spook her a little bit, I guess. Let's get some wards because there's a chance that Vi could gank us. I wasn't paying attention to the map. Let's be- I'm gonna be very honest. Wasn't watching the map um, in the last- okay, there she is. Oh, ouch. Luckily, we have a lot of magic resist. So, Vi is over here. And I'm pushing out, so I'm in a very vulnerable spot because Vi is now topside. There's Vi. Excuse me? Why would you do that? Ah, rip. We get some range poke because we're pretty much a range champion. We outpoke Karma just now. I'm gonna say balanced. Wait, I can QW. Wait, I couldn't move. Holy moly, I actually could not flash this whole time. That was insane. Ah, 
Ah, okay. She's not gonna go for that. Is is Riven just standing still and ordering? Huh. That looks very awkward. But I guess it works. I don't think this person plays Riven at all. Based on how she was just standing there ordering. She didn't stagger her abilities. Just used all of them in one go. And she just stands still after that. But yeah, we survived that gank. Really nice. Pantheon pushed this in, which is very unfortunate for us. So we have to go mid lane. Just so that we can even out um, in farm. Or else we'll just simply fall behind. So there we go. Now we go back to top lane. If we simply just went back to top, we would have lost a lot. So yeah, I think if you guys really value winning lane uh, against melee matchups, definitely pick him up. Wait, they just... Okay, that was interesting. That Galio ult was very interesting. The ward over there. But you guys can see how you use Tom Kench's ult to roam. Uh, whenever... Oh, what? Excuse me? Wait, wait. I could head over. Okay, I don't need to. Oh my god, two tongue lashes, she's at half. How disgusting is that, guys? Tell me that's not disgusting. Like, that is absolutely atrocious. That should not exist. A melee champion should not be able to poke like that. Ah, oh, okay. Lol? She's literally dead from... My tongue lashes. Oh, okay, never mind. Minions OP. And this is so spammable. I don't even need corrupting potion. I won't go out of mana. <laughs> She's scared of my tongue lash. I actually outpoke her. My range is better. Oh my god, I am not in position. Uh, okay, I prevented the damage on the tower actually. I just realized that in the last second that I can do that. So that way it's impossible for Pantheon to die there. Uh, no, I'm not teleporting that. By the time I teleport, I think uh, they just walk away from me. That's about it. And I lose a lot of pressure. Just because the nearest one is over here, and Jin was going into the tri bush. That was a uh, no bueno. Alright, let's try to ult mid now. Oh, okay, he's doing the smart thing by backing away, so we'll just go for a deep ward instead. And then we'll just simply ult mid. Easy. We're pretty much a Twisted Fate as well. Let's just be honest here. We are pretty much Twisted Fate. And we're gonna teleport top after we get Spirit Visage. Is he okay? Okay. Okay, next item, Righteous Glory. I don't even need to teleport. By the time my teleport completes, these three minions are dead anyway, so might as well save it. I can use it for a bot lane teleport if, say, Vi comes to bot lane. And you know, they hard commit into my bot lane, I will just simply teleport. Otherwise, so far so good, and very easy to CS. I was at 0 and 2, I believe, at one point. I think. 
So yeah, Tom Kench, really strong. Is actually a proper top laner. Oh, are they ganking bot? I don't see a TP opportunity just yet. Now I do. I know, I know this tower's there, but it's juicy. Oh, oh wait, I wasn't meant to. I, I clicked on buy. I'm, that's so troll. I mean, I guess I trolled myself, but wow. Well. Say what? Wait, I could have saved Malphite, huh? My bad. Oh my god, I'm messing up so much. I mean, from these guys' point of view, it doesn't look like I'm messing up. Maybe the Malphite saw that I was messing up by swallowing him, but... Which I wasn't meant to swallow. I don't know why. It's so hard to... Do you guys know if you have an ally and an enemy stacked on top of each other, you want to swallow the enemy, it automatically swallows the ally. It just prioritizes that. It's so annoying. Or maybe I just misclicked. Probably that's what happened. Yeah, let's just back away. We might as well take this lead and just go home with it. Rather than give them a bunch of shutdowns for no reason. At least a chance to. Ah, oh, okay. I was hoping she'd just face check. Alright, looks like Vi's gonna come in. So, yeah. For a chance to steal, she pays with her life. Just a chance, you know? Just a chance. But the right play was for my team to pull it out. Pull Dragon out of the pit. Alright, we have ult again, so we're pretty much Twisted Fate. We just need to find a victim. It's either Twisted Fate or Pantheon. I'd say Pantheon's a pretty close contender. It's just, I think Pantheon has that big oomph when he... Lands, you know, he's actually gonna do a lot of damage with his ult and also with his W. Or just he just unloads every, he just presses everything. Nothing really to it. Are we getting Rift Herald? Are we getting mid lane? Well, we can't get mid lane, so I guess I'll help out. Pantheon is really bad at taking camps when he doesn't have a jungle item. But why would he. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Alright, now now we can actually hit the back properly. Alright, we'll pick this up. Bring it to mid lane. Uh, I can't ult that. The soonest I could ult was right after I picked up that rift. Just stood still. Damn, I wanted to swallow Galio. I was thinking he's gonna tank a couple more hits. So I can get the. I, I clicked this way and it still faced the other way. <laughs> Alright. Rift Tail to the mid. I'm gonna knock down a bunch of towers and, you know, hopefully end the game soon. Because that's what we basically do every single game is we just try to end it as quickly as we can through optimal macro play. Let me eat that and have that CS. Everyone's alive. So let's back. Okay, that works. Right, now my job is to find a lane to split push and then ult towards the team fight. So we're going to get Righteous Glory. And then we're going to work towards a Titanic Hydra. Alright, we are very tanky right now. Almost 3,000 health. I do not have teleport for her. Yeah, I think she's fine. Unless Jin snipes. That's the only way they kill her. Jin did snipe her. But Riven's is broken. In the right hands. Not in my hands. So we're going to push. 
Create pressure. We already see two people on the map, one person dead. So maximum that could come to us is two. And in that case, we should be able to 1v2 anyway because we're Tom Kench. Any more than two uh, is going to be an issue. Oh, sh they just suicided. By they, I mean the enemy. I think we already did too much damage. The game's pretty much over. It's just iron players versus iron players, but except one side is way more ahead because we did a bunch of roaming at the start. I can ult whenever, but the best play is just to take towers in case the mid push fails. Not that there's any minions anyway, so we wouldn't be doing anything by going up there. That's why we... Hello. Oh, there goes her ult. I wish this minion would stop hitting me so I can get my Hail of Blades back. Oh, I'm so dead. Am I? I'm pretty dead. <gasps> you killed me. Wait, I could go into this... Okay. Okay, I'm out. Wait, I'm healthy again. Uh, okay. Damn, I was hoping... I thought Riven was going to pop off. I've seen so many montages, so I trusted that Riven at that moment. Also, my triumph healed me so much since I had Spirit Visage. That's why I thought I'm healthy enough to go back in and get another assist. Malphite had ult. I think he had enough damage. He's full AP. He could have ulted her and killed. I felt she uh, he definitely had enough damage. He just ulted Dragon. He could have gotten a kill and taken dragon without ulting the dragon. Okay, so we're probably going to work towards a Randuans. I'd like to say Randuans. I think Thornmail is going to be pretty useless in this game. Like, who are we going to reflect Thornmail damage against Jin? He doesn't auto attack fast enough. Thornmail is only good if they have a lot of attack speed AD. And if they don't, really useless. Or if they have healing and the AD, but no one here, so... In this situation, definitely Randuans. Oh, okay. She flashed. Huh? Alright, we can ult towards... Wait, I ulted too deep. Worth? Man, Triumph is so good. Lovely. I can just teleport back, so... I'm gonna head back. Get to full health, and then TP. Because uh, we just straight up end, actually. I should have TP'd on something that was tanking. Uh, I guess it's okay. No one saw that. Really? I think we could end. Alright, I guess... I guess we'll... Come back another day. No, that's kind of questionable. Malphite just went in. We might be able to take out Karma because she just flashed earlier. Oh, okay, she's too savvy. We can't Baron. They're pinging for Baron, but the thing is, we need Riven. And also, they have more numbers alive than us. I can definitely rotate to Baron really quickly because I have ult. Whoa! 
Oh, look at that wave clear. Holy moly. We take jungle camps pretty fast. Let's get a deep pink ward here. And then we'll pick up this thing. Alright, now let's have a look if Karma is silly enough to push up. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to push this in, but we're heading straight to Baron, so let's go. Uh, rip now, fight. I'm wondering if I was to wait for him, would he have gone into my ult? Wait, do I catch up to this guy? No, I don't think so. Flash? She doesn't have flash. She has smite. Jesus, that damage was all me on the Galio. Alright, that was a pretty, pretty easy win. Yeah, this Karma was definitely afraid of me. The moment she knew I was in the area, she just jetted. So <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. I'm gonna say here that Karma is not good at all. After playing her in the top lane, she's not good. She gets outclassed by anything. Very slow pushing power, unless you get go full AP. But you're basically using your only damaging spell to clear the minion wave. So the moment you clear the minion wave, enemy can just jump on you. You can't retaliate, you just have to run. So it feels extremely bad playing Karma. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I believe this is 23 wins in a row, and we are at 73 LP. I had to dodge twice, unfortunately, because I was autofill twice. And you guys don't want to watch autofill support games. And before we take off, I am the highest in damage, as you guys can see. I am actually not the highest. Okay, I lost by 50 damage. Rip. And we were pretty successful with using Hail of Blades. 80% of the Hail of Blades actually landed on champions, so really good. And our Triumph healed 1,900, which is insane because we have Spirit Visage and we have a lot of health. Massive health pool, Triumph heals for a percentage of health, and then on top of that, increased by Spirit Visage. So Triumph is actually a must-have for Tom Kench. Anyways, GG well played. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.